we are all bullshitting ourselves. We are all watching countless videos of bits of information, and it doesn't all have to be philosophy. This can be economics, business, this can be, this can be politics, this can be just how to learn different hobbies or how to cook, like you're some bake-off, whatever the thing that you, whatever your input is, whatever you watch, whatever you consume, teaches you things and you are learning those things to have them. And that is what the Greeks would have called philia nikia, which is the pursuit of knowledge for victory and was seen as the highest form of self-bullshittery around the place. Because to have the knowledge, you don't necessarily have to be it. You can just have the clever little way of communicating, that little bit of language, that little diagram, that little story that gives you the air of having that knowledge. It's like, yeah, fair play, you learned something and you have this way of describing it that means that you have it. But how often does that actually penetrate into your everyday life? And that's a question I've had to ask myself a lot in the last year, I believe, uh, where I was constantly harvesting, constantly researching and getting and all of the rest. And in all of my experiences, my experience of the learning was interrupted by, ooh, that's a clever little motto. Ooh, that's a clever little catchphrase, whatever it is, but I was constantly harvesting, constantly, that I can take that, oh, I can have that, oh, that would sound so good coming out of me, it's like I want to be the guy that has that bit of knowledge. And then I look back on all the bits of knowledge and I ask, how have I incorporated them, how have I brought them into my life? And that comes up short, because I didn't go through the experience with that mindset. I wanted to have, I didn't focus on wanting to be, wanting to be that way and just kind of letting the knowledge flow out. It was wanting to have so I could share, so I could do these videos. Like the irony is not lost on me on trying to share this through a video. Um, So one thing that I have learned that has helped me get around this wanting to have the information um, is dividing how we know things into four different types of knowing. This is following John Verveke, he's a professor in Toronto, um, definitely a rabbit hole worth going down, and he breaks knowing into four different types. You have your propositional, your head knowledge, this is where science is, this is where language is, this is where I have the bit of information and whatever else. It's your top layer, very top. Then we have um, procedural knowledge which is how to catch a ball, how to something, how, how to run, how to walk, how to, how to write. And I mean that on like the actual mechanical level. Um, these are all things that we don't think about, like the amount of muscles needed for any of those things. Like we don't think about using those muscles, we just kind of do it. We have the procedure just locked into our heads and we don't really think about it. Then you go a level deeper and it's perspectival knowing, perspective shifting. I know how it feels or I can get a gist of how you might feel in a certain situation. And again, I can put all of this into head knowledge. I can put all of this into language and try and communicate it to you, but it doesn't quite grasp. It's not as deep and as rich as the actual feeling of perspective shifting, of imagining what it would be like in your shoes, in someone else's shoes that's, can't quite grasp that fully. And then you have at the very bottom, your fundamental, it's participatory knowing. And that is how you participate in the world. That is how you participate in a conversation. When someone says a bit of information, do you debate it? Because between the two of you, you're going to fight it out and you're going to come out with the right answer. You're going to figure it out that way or someone gives you a bit of information and you just question it and you just keep questioning. And if they're wrong, you'll give them enough rope to hang themselves with. And if they're right, you just learned something and that's amazing. Or they give you a bit of information and you relay it back and you give them a story that like relates it to you personally so that it comes out of that propositional knowing and into a more kind of personal, personable relationship sort of conversation and it directs it that way. 
even how we just show up, how we introduce ourselves, there's many different ways of participating that way or just how we go through a social interaction. Again, how we participate, how we participate with ourselves, how we negotiate with ourselves, how we talk to ourselves, how we treat ourselves. Now, again, there's four different types of knowing. Nothing is on any one level in particular. They do come across. You do need to know the knowledge to learn the procedure. You do need to communicate with the person to get the perspective, to understand roughly where they might be. To participate is to know the procedures involved, to have procedures in how you introduce yourself and do whatever else. They all work together. But for me, separating it out has helped me understand exactly where I am on different lessons. So on the lesson of trying not to harvest and trying to actually participate in a conversation that has got me away from propositional and into participatory on me trying to learn how to speak has got me again out of propositional into perhaps procedural sometimes into perspectival shifting and i mean that as in in an empathetic sense is in what does my listener what are they experiencing right now as i'm speaking but also internally what would john verveke say about this little video that i'm making right now or what would jesus say or what would whoever else <laughs> um but to have like a role model in my head and just be able to shift perspectives and just be like allow their influence to come into what i'm speaking what i'm doing and so just that matrix has helped me and i'm very very grateful for having it um and it's been one true thing that has helped me get around wanting to have the bits of information and get me towards wanting to be the bit of information wanting to wanting to be wanting to embody the lesson wanting to actually live it wanting to actually allow that lesson to penetrate into my life and affect how i operate in the world a bit more truly a bit more honestly so hopefully it helps you hopefully it is something that is worth having and worth sharing. Uh, so if you liked this little bit, this little tidbit, uh, hit like, hit subscribe. I appreciate that. Um, and let me know what you're going to try and focus on bringing into your life this week. What are you going to try to shift into a different type of knowing, perhaps? Because um, that'd be pretty cool. So I'm going to leave it there. I will see you in the next video, guys. Till then, bye.